Hey, hey, Andrew Twelve Tree here. How are you going? Uh, we're just going to make sure that we are live. Looks like it. So today uh, we're going to talk about how your secret story can transform your life. Now, it's an interesting title, and it's very, um, very powerful. How effective this one thing is in transforming from where you were to where you are. Now, my story, basically, I was skipping along the bottom. I flipped it on its head and my trajectory financially went the other way. So now I've got freedom and choices. Now that happened within a year, guys. All right, from skipping along the bottom, taxable income, half of the minimum wage, all right, going on to that. So today, what are we gonna talk about? What is your secret story? Now, most people will know your story. They know you're uh, an electrician, you know, but they don't know that you, you resent the fact that you travel an hour and a half to um, the site every day, have to put up with idiots and incorrect plans and bosses who don't understand. You get home, you know, after driving an hour and a, home, hour and a half home, you barely see the children, you know, you're not earning enough to survive and all that, just the story, not the facade the real story, your vulnerable story, right? That's what can transform your life. Now, you're gonna ask, how can it transform your life? Now, that's what we're going to get into. But I wanna discuss a couple of short things first, like people's or human beings' tendency for acceptance rather than um, intolerance and change, right? People don't like change. If they don't like their situation, all right, and heaps of people are coming in now. Hi, Kevin, Vernon, Damien, Brian, Annette, and others. All right, people accept stuff that they shouldn't. I mean, they hate their life. They, they don't want to go, you know, an hour and a half each way, so three hours a day commuting to a site, but they just accept it. Oh, well, that's my lot in life. I'm just going to have to grin and bear it, you know, never see the kids. All right, Sanjay, how you going? Um, yeah, now look, it's, and I was in that situation too. I accepted where I was. In fact, I went that one step further and had, um, I'll see if I can wave back, because there's a lot of these. Oh, there you go, you can wave back and they disappear. Um, where was I going? All right, one step further where I had entitlement issues as well. Right. Not only was I did I have a bad mindset, like you know everything sucked. I'm always broke. Where am I going to get the next money from? I expected people to help me and lend me money. All right, as well. Now that only happens for so long. All right, you don't pay someone back once. Well, pity them. And and you know, basically, people do that. Now you can break out of that through a couple of things. All right. One, not accepting your lot in life. Right? You either get to a breaking point or I'm not going to take it anymore or, or a decision that's the same thing. Now, you don't have to hit all the way to the bottom before you hit your breaking point. It's just a point where you will not accept what's given any longer. Right? Now, once you've done that and you're willing to do some action or, take some, or do some work to actually pull out of that and pull away, all right, to change the trajectory of your um, to change the trajectory of your financial uh, future. All right. So decision change, but you also need the correct vehicle. Right. How can you affect change and permanent change in your in your Hey Andrew Shane Benjamin? How are you going? Um, how can you affect that kind of change in your life? You need the right vehicle to get you, you there. Now, it's got to pr provide long-term sustainability. Now, if you look at what's online these days, there's lots of shiny objects, you know, fancy wallets and percent per day things and all this kind of stuff that are here today, gone in three, six, 12 months. All right, you need something that's going to last the test of time. Now, Traditionally, they earn money slightly slower because they're sustainable. A lot of these ones where you make a lot of money fast and then they're gone along with your money and everyone else's, 
they aren't sustainable and you can see that from day one all right you've got to have on ongoing passive income as a result from it okay so once you've got all of those how can your story so you've one you've made your decision you're willing to work for it and you've got a vehicle all right a business or, or a, a game plan to help you change your life from where you're at you know a, alongside of what you've got at the moment to a point where it surpasses your job and goes further and gets you freedom and choices that's where a lot of people are looking to go so how does your secret story help eventuate that all right now it's all about relatability all right when you talk to someone if you go straight for the we've got all right they're already running away because nobody wants a business all right they just want an answer to their problems but if you say listen Brian you know you know I'm flat out I've got to, I'm running out the door but I'm gonna I wanted to send you this quick message right a message or a, or a text message or a message and in that you can say look we've been mates for quite a while and you know I respect your opinion on everything all right I think I'm back can someone give me a thumbs up if I'm back for a moment there it dropped out all right it looks like names are moving up the screen again sorry we lost a couple of viewers there when it crashed so where we're at morning Ron uh, where we're at is uh, we were about to tell our story we said to Brian hey Brian I'm just running out the door but I wanted to send you a quick message before I did right because um, I completely respect your opinion on everything that we do now you know you know I'm an engineer all right now I've got a couple of different stories I'm gonna run past you here now Brian has a trade I say he's an electrician for example now I used to be an engineer those stories match don't they and we say hey Brian you know I'm an engineer all right and it looks on the outside like I'm making a, you know good money and the family's going well and all that sort of thing but probably what you don't know is I used to have to commute an hour and 15 minutes every day I'd get home at 7.30 at night, I'd see the kids for half an hour if I was lucky. I was on a salary, so all these extra hours I was working, I didn't get paid for that, it was just mm -hmm. expected. So come the end of the week, we were always struggling to fill the basket, the shopping basket. And we hadn't been on holiday in three years. I mean, it might look like we're doing okay on the outside of the company car and all that, but mate, we were hurting. Right? I didn't know if you, if you knew that, but mate, what I wanted to share with you is that, that we've found a way out. All right, we've got something on the side that's going to last the test of time that's building up to give us freedom and choices. All right, now, I, I was just on, you know, going to quickly message you and say, hey, are you open to looking at something like that? How powerful is that, guys? They listen to your story. Everyone loves listening to a story. All right, give me some love if that if you could relate to that story it was only a few sentences that's it all right it's what I did and what I didn't like about it all right and then what I found hey Veronica how you going you Tam Jay Mike all right what I found is freedom of choices what's everyone looking for an answer to their problems could they relate to me having a commute having to work hard, having problems at work and all that, yeah, everyone can, right? You can tailor your story, not fabricate, tailor, all right? Use components out of your life that relate to them better. Because, mate, by the time they've heard that story, they want to help you. Nine out of ten of them will say, yeah, send me some information over. And they're going to be looking at it, all right, not with crossed arms leaning back, they're going to be looking at it as a way for them to get some freedom and choices in their life, just like you did in yours. All right, then you've just got to follow them up with you know, a certain set of questions, which we can give you. All right, you're going to explode your business. So it's your secret story, the, the pain behind the facade, your vulnerability, if you're willing to, to bear your belly 
to others, they'll be your, theirs to yours. Now, it's not a flashing competition, if you know what I mean, but, you know, if you share with them, it, mate, mate, I was hurting. Right? I know, you know, we couldn't put food on the table. We couldn't fill the basket. We were getting snags instead of steaks. Right? And they can, they're, they're, they're going through the same thing, but they're not telling anyone either. But now that you've shared with them, they'll share with you. And when you get to that, once you get to the emotion of the problem, if you offer a solution, they're going to run at it with everything. All right, now I'm going to give you, um, you can thousand percent relate. Now here's one that you can relate to, Ron. This is my online marketing story. All right. You know, I went online about 10 years ago and I struggled. Right. When I first came online, I tried blogging videos i had seo i had 13 channels in 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 youtube within a week i did e-commerce drop shipping all right i did binary options trading you name it i did everything online all right don't get me wrong after the initial year or so i actually got it so i could actually make enough to get by but mate what i found was that there, there was a whole it felt like we were a shoal of sardines swimming around in the ocean from one food source to the next. Who got there first was the one that earned the most money. All right, and it was just a... Pre okay, we back again. You've got to love my internet, don't you? All right, can someone give me a thumbs up to know that I'm back? All right, we'll give uh, Veronica a like, see if that works. All right, I think I'm back. All right, well, someone give me some loves and ones or something in the comments to let us know. So, yeah, it felt like a shoal of sardines swimming around in the ocean. So the one that got there first made all the money, right? And all the others had their feet as well. But, mate, what really got up my goat about that was you'd go out and build a team of two, three, four, five hundred people, and then the company would, uh, you know, have issues with their withdrawals or something and then all of a sudden they had 404 error on their site and then they were gone taken off with everyone's money now the, the thing that really ate at me were there you know because sometimes you didn't lose sometimes you made some money but it was the trail of bodies that you left behind of people that did lose money all right that and the fact that we're trying to build freedom and choices and every few months your team are just vanish because the company tip over these days what we've found is something stable i've been able to build a team and then not have it disappear on me but just rebuild on top of or add to and the team has just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger now it's enabled us to, to enjoy some freedom and choices mate 2019 was epic lots of travel six countries all right multiple six-figure earnings so just wanted to see if you were open to something like that, all right? So when you're talking to a marketer, I know the story got broken a little bit in the middle there because of the internet. But if you told that story to a marketer, how you've been burnt and had to rebuild teams and instead of having to rebuild them, you can just add to it now, right? Who would relate to that? Out of who's watching, we've got quite a few people on. Who could relate to the marketing story? Now, I know there's a bit of a lag, but if you do, just slam, uh, put a one or a plus in the comments and slam the love and like buttons if you can relate to that. Now, I'm going to make an assumption. Jeez, there must be a lag on here. 10, 11. Because we've got a heap of people watching. No one can relate. I'm sure they can. All right, so... That's how you can do it. You can use a story. All right, now this works once you've made a friend with somebody. All right, so if it's an acquaintance or it's an existing friend, you can almost send this, this straight up to them. If you're a, a, a long acquaintance, you'd want to rekindle a little bit of a conversation and then say it. Or if you've got absolute cold calling, all right, absolute cold calling, you'd want to make a friend first. Now, how do you make a friend? You make them laugh, find three things in common. Your friends. Try it. You can do that in about three or four minutes. All right? They'll, they'll have a laugh and think you're cool. All right? Back and forth, share a bit of your story, let them share a bit of theirs, and then say, hey, listen. 
Just wondering if you're open to a, a side gig that can uh, replace your income eventually. All right. So that's it, guys. That's how your secret story can transform your life. Now, how does it, how to do it officially? You've got your business, online business, that's going to last for long. You've made your decision, and you're taking action. Talk to people. All right. Talk to people. Say, hey, I'm on the fly. I'm really busy, but I wanted to catch you. Tell your secret story and then ask them if they're open to looking at something like that. You tell a lot of people your story because it's made I'm flying out the door but I wanted to message you real quick. I know you're a friend and I respect your decision. Or mate, I've seen you online. I've watched your content for quite a while even though we've never connected. You've got some awesome stuff and I, I value your opinion. Just a little bit about me. It might look like I'm on to doing okay, but I used to pain, 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 pain. I didn't like this, okay? I'm just wondering if you're open to looking. All right, so there's a few, and it's just relax, guys. But that secret, vulnerable story can transform your life because what that does, it's a bridge from where, you know, from people you all know to your opportunity. Tell a bit of a story, see if they're open, show them the opportunity. That's it. All right? So that little story is the most important, I believe, uh, in doing it. Now, I've been doing this unknowingly for quite a while. I've been sharing my story with people, and they tend to relate and then go from that. But um, once I've seen some training from, from Eric Worry, all right, it really hit home that that's what has made it possible for me to reach the success I have. All right, now now I'm sharing this with you, saying, look, it can transform your life if you get this. All right, so <clears throat> if you are floating around, you're in, in our team or thinking about it, absolutely reach out and share with this. If you haven't got your vehicle to take you to Freedom and Choices, reach out, comment, personal message me, all right? Because we've got trainings, in-depth trainings, that will teach you how to do this and how to do it fast so that you can transform not only your finances but your life in a heartbeat. Because, what, nine months, I've gone from bones of the broke ass, broke, to freedom and choices traveling the world. You can do the same, all right? So on that, I wanted to say thank you for sharing your time. I've, we've had many people on the call watching the whole time and more are coming. Um, share this or tag this with people who need to see it, okay? That, that don't understand that, you know, you don't have to accept your lot in life. You can change it. All you need to do is make that decision. I'm not going to take it anymore and I'm willing to do something about it. We've got the way. If you've made the decision and, and decided, right, I'm going to do this, we've got the way. If someone shared this video with him, go back to them. All right, and we've got the training that can help you do it. So from now, uh, Andrew out. Everyone be awesome. Go chase your dreams. All right, there is no better way to live than when you're out there chasing your dreams. If you're sitting there suffering in silence, make your decision, guys. Don't accept it any longer. All right? Life is there to be taken. Go take it. Andrew out. Be awesome.